Mesh Audio will do a commission for you and the only question they ask on their website is what colors do you hate? I love that. I cannot stress to you the amount of respect I'm holding right now for them. This pedal appeared almost supernaturally in our hands and will not disappoint you. This thing is so god dang wild and I love it. Great talent can often be overlooked and clearly the space wizard running Mesh Audio is making some goddamn art. Wow. This is my favorite Pokemon. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, yeah. sorry, I was looking at, um, just looking at pictures of Splinter from the Ninja Turtle. Babies! They're just babies! Uh, we were looking at the diagram for this pedal, Mesh Audio. Mm -hmm. This is called the Juice John, and John is spelled J-A-W-N. I feel like my dad right now, like, it's the Juice John. I don't get it. Here, take it. I don't get it. Joshua! Joshua! Anyway. Um, Who's Joshua? Uh, Tom, it's a Tom Green callback from, like, when he was doing Andy Kaufman based stunts. Never had cable. <laughs> don't you have a YouTube? Don't you I, have I'm not going to go to YouTube and look up Tom Green clips. It's highly inappropriate. <laughs> We have children. That's true. You Jason? Do have, you do have children. Golly, read the room. So this pedal we, uh, is nameless. <laughs> or the, the, the pedals. Or the, uh, what we're looking at now, the, the one on the left is the Gain Q Peak. You heard it, folks. This pedal doesn't make any goddamn sense. And I loved it. So I, I, I love the Qtron. It's one of my favorite pedals. It's a go-to pedal for okay. me. It's an envelope filter, like this guy is. Is it? <laughs> Sorry, did you say QAnon? <laughs> the pedal? It's a QAnon pedal. It's a QAnon pedal. 
don't know. He only eats organic food. You know, I can't make heads or tails of what they're even about. I was I was trying to think of a, like of a joke, but about QAnon. But you know, Q-tips are nice. Uh, name other Q items. Q. That's always from Star Trek. Q from Star Trek. Q from uh, James Bond. Um, Q. That from was always a tough uh, part in the alphabet. Yeah. yeah. Um, Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones. Um, Quagmire. Quagmire. You're killing the Q. Quad. You're what I would call a, a cutie. <laughs> so overall, would you recommend this pedal? I would. Um, I was actually thinking most of these pedals end up living here, and I'm going to do a little taxi cab confessional. I think I might steal this pedal and take it home and play with it some more. I thought it was great. I really did. I, we didn't really know what it was going into it. Ryan had texted us um, what the name of the pedal was. The Juicy Joan. Made by, what was it, Mesh Audio? Mm-hmm. Um, and so we knew that, and then we just said, you know what, just dang it, we'll just throw it up, we'll see what happens, we'll twist some knobs, and we'll see what happens. This thing sounds great. I, the fuzz is, like, gnarly as hell. It is. Like, out of all the fuzzes that we've reviewed, this is just the fuzz aspect of it alone is probably one of the best ones we've ever done. It does look like somebody went into your tacky aunt's jewelry and stole some of it because they couldn't find anything else to put it together. Yeah, it felt like it looks like it fell into a pot of nail polish. And they're just like, oh, fuck, my pedal. Yep, and like, this, oh, is, well. this, this is fine. This this, everything work. is fine. Yeah. I dig that, though. Mm, it's, it's I think when sometimes work, things look a little weird. too polished, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's not a good thing. This thing looks like... Um, like when you know, like your mom helped you finish your uh, art project, and you only told about it, told her about it the night before, so you had to like rush through it. And that's what this pedal looks like. It's not what it sounds like, though. It sounds, it sounds good. like your dad helped you instead of your mom. If your dad was a pedal maker and you had to make a pedal for a science project as a child, quickly I, clap. I End the video. <laughs>